watching the Big Dog Post Game Show, brought to you by Viner Forgates and the Big Dog himself, Rick Jacklich at the Jacklich Law Group. How we doing? Great, Bill. Can I take good. us through the process of when you found out you're going to be the starter, and then the week of preparation yeah. leading up today? Yeah, Coach Locks, he's a man of his word. He told us uh, last Sunday we had a quarterback meeting. Um, that's when he let us know. You know, we wanted to, to keep it in house. Just keep going about our business as a quarterback room as a whole, as an offense, as a program. Um, and then really, you know, this this week, I, I didn't really try to change too much in terms of my preparation. I feel like, you know, I've been here two seasons, um, you know, had various roles throughout the two seasons. And I feel like the one thing that's always been the same is I treated myself and trained myself to be the starter, you know, and pre preparing Monday through Friday. Um, so I didn't try to change too much. Um, I kind of went back to what I told myself 2022, my first year here, of just like when I get in games, you know, not make it bigger than it is because, you know, we grind in practice, we get after it. And, you know, I, I always get after it in practice. I do the things I have to do to, you know, feel prepared and feel confident. Um, and that's just kind of what I told myself, you know, we're, it, right today was a Tuesday, Wednesday practice for me. You know, I made the throws in practice, you know, countless of times. And then coming out here, it was just about remaining calm, trusting my feet, trusting my training, and just, you know, I got a lot of good skill players around me, just letting them do their thing. How much did the first drive allow you to settle in and the first throw you complete right off the, right off the bat? Yeah, yeah, that was our plan going in. Definitely, you know, we, we got into uh, some certain looks that we liked against them just to see, you know, kind of was a feeling out game for both sides, try to see what they, you know, what they liked against us and vice versa. Um, so it was good to get a few completions under my belt that first drive, the run game get going. Um, so it felt good, just, you know, like I said, I was just trying to, to stay calm, you know, it was practice out there for me. That's what I was telling myself the whole time. 311 yards pass and more than a few deep shots. What were you guys able to take advantage of? Um, yeah, they, they definitely, you know, hats off to them. They had a good game, game plan coming in here. They did a lot of stuff interior, you know, try to stop the run game. We were able to take advantage of some of those things. Um, they really tried to take away Caden Prather, you know, hence why Ty Felton was able to have such a good game, such a big game. Um, but really, you know, Coach Gaddis and Coach Locks put a great, you know, game plan together. We, you know, tried to push the ball down the field. They were kind of taken away. So, you know, with the intermediate game, I think that's where we came alive today, throwing the ball to Ty. You know, I had a good bender there to Dylan Wade um, right before the half. Just things like that where they were playing deep and didn't want to, you know, give up a ball over their head. But we were able to take advantage of the stuff they left underneath. And then, you know, like you saw from Ty on that one long one, you know, throw a six-yard ball, he'll take it 76. So. That's, uh, you know, hats off to the skill around me. You know, I got a good group. So just trying to get the ball in their hands and let them make plays. On so those slide plays. plays as well as it does. Uh, good, good. You know, that was, uh, we knew, you know, we, we liked the, our certain runs against them going in this week. And we knew, you know, it's the first game. We talked about, you know, Coach Locke's message all week was, you know, we're a rocket launch. We're taking off. Um, and the third thing that, you know, rocket launch entails is, is destruction, domination. Um, so, you know, we had our... Our menu of runs, um, and we ran them a lot. You know, we wanted to, to set the tone early, establish line of scrimmage, which I think we did a good job. Good job of, for the most part, you know, hats off to those guys. I think we had four or five new offensive linemen out there. Um, but, you know, Nolan Ray was able to split one. Roman Hemby almost busted a couple, you know, long runs. Colby McDonald got going there at the end. So it makes it good when, you know, we have a lot of good skill players on the field. So we're just trying to distribute the ball. And, you know, whatever the defense takes away, we'll use the other skill players we have and, and keep it moving. On those slide plays, what do you see and what's it feel like when the contact comes? Yeah, I'll be honest. I think in a game that was my first time ever sliding, um, <laughs> you know, a lot to learn from. I don't, I don't think that'll be my last. Um, <laughs> I feel like I'm more of, an, a, of a downhill aggressive runner, but that'll be one, you know, I got to learn, um, you know, obviously just with, the, the nature of my position now, you know, hoping to play in 12, 13, 14, 15 games. I'm not a backup coming in, so I gotta, I gotta do a better job protecting myself. Um, and yeah, you know that, that one stung a little bit, but I think the the biggest thing that you know Coach Locks always talk about is it's not a, a bad thing if we can learn from it. So, without a doubt in my mind, I've learned from that one, and, and I will you know go about it differently when it comes to sliding. And do you actually myself. recall seeing the guy coming at you? 100 percent, 100 percent. Nolan Ray. Uh, Ran a little smash concept there in the boundary. I got flushed. I think it was like second and ten, second and nine. Um, and I really could have just dished the ball to Nolan Ray, ended my day, decided to take off. Just not in a position to slide. It really, really anything, just go out of bounds. Like I said, that was my first time ever doing it in a game. You know, can't say it'll be my last, but definitely, you know, one to learn from and, and one to protect myself from going for, going forward. Was there a feeling of accomplishment for you when the coach told you that you were going to be the starter after having played behind the uh, last couple of years? Yeah, it's hard. I would say, you know, 100%. You know, I. Going throughout this, you know, this business now, college football is a business. Yeah. You obviously want to, obviously want to be where my feet are, and, and you know, taking those moments because you know this is stuff. This is why I came here from the transfer portal two years ago. This is stuff I've dreamed about my whole life. Um, so it was good in that sense. You know, I shared it with my family. You know, maybe a few friends. Try to keep off my phone, off social media, to not you know just have to deal with those <laughs> external distractions. But I think the biggest thing for me was, 
you know, like I said, I've been here two years, and, and every game I've trained myself like the starter. I prepared for, you know, to be the starter. Um, so I try not to make it too big of a of a difference for me mentally. Um, you know, my sister does a good job. She always puts things into perspective. She's like, you know, you've been playing football since you were six, seven years old. This is, you know, this is you're living out your dream right now. Yeah. So you know, I have a few moments like that where I can definitely, you know, soak it all in. But for me, it was just about, you know, coming out on Monday, putting the putting the best foot forward, getting the offense running, and you know, preparing for UConn. Going on.